Hey guys, so welcome back to the moving vlog series. Welcome to another room renovation that we are embarking on together today. I feel like I've potentially been waiting my whole life for this video to happen, um, but I'm coming to you today from a room that you probably haven't seen much of before. This is my box room. It's very small, it's very compact, um, and because of that I don't really film in here that often. And uh, in the year that we've lived here, it's kind of had a few different uses. For the first six months it was basically a dumping ground uh, for everything that didn't have a home yet, for old furniture that we needed to sell, um, just a load of junk. Since then it has had a spruce up or two, but today, and hopefully over the next couple of days, I am going to convert it into its full potential and full destiny. <laughs> And this is going to be my walk-in wardrobe. It's actually the perfect space uh, for this. So I'm hoping everything is going to go to plan and run smoothly. And in the end, we have something really, really great. I'm going to give you a little tour in a second so you can actually see the room and the layout and um, what we're starting out with. But this room is actually not in bad shape at all. I've done bits and pieces to it. Originally, this whole wall here was um, children's cloud wallpaper which I didn't hate but it just wasn't quite right for us uh, for here so that's been changed and um, as you can see I do have some furniture in here at the moment I'm kind of using this to store my shoes and the desk down there too so I, I sometimes get ready in here do my makeup get dressed and that's kind of what led me on to thinking this would be the perfect room to actually store all my clothes in and finally I can have the wardrobe of my dreams so hopefully this is going to take three days that's what I'm aiming for I have the wardrobes I have the paint I have everything I need uh, so it's just a case of really getting stuck in and starting this whole project off. So let's start by taking a look around this room and seeing what we're actually dealing with. I'm sure some of you out there will be thinking, why do I need to do anything to this room? It looks finished, it looks done, it's fine. Um, but actually there's a real lack of storage space in here. And living in a flat, especially in London, storage space is so essential. Um, so at the moment there's these two main shelf so i have one on this side i have one over here these are just billy bookcases from ikea the ultimate blogger storage everybody has these and right now i'm using them to store my shoes as you can see um yes i do have quite a few pairs of shoes these are great but they're quite narrow they're not the deepest really shoes and maybe some bags like i have here at the top are the only thing that fits on them so they have been great so far for that um, but they do take up quite a lot of wall space um down here you can see i've been keeping my coats on this rail which is just from amazon it's terrible it's already broken if i touch it oh i shouldn't really have done that um it will fall down it's kind of like propped against the wall there so that is not the best solution for this there is a small cupboard back here which uh, isn't very deep and isn't very useful so most of this wall and in fact this one over here too is kind of just wasted space also in the middle of this room i actually have a desk this used to be my actual working desk uh, until it got a little bit too small for me and i upgraded uh, but i decided to keep it because it's so pretty it's gorgeous it's from west elm it's a really beautiful piece of furniture and actually it's kind of sat quite nicely in between these two units for the time being. This is where I usually sit and do my hair and makeup. I've just got a little stool there and some hair tools and one very needy dog who just always wants to be on camera. <gasps> Big yawn. Despite this looking like a really great space to do all that in, it's actually not very practical. This mirror that I have here, you can see me in now, but it's too high up. I mounted this completely wrong. I did it in a rush and I didn't really think about it. So when I sit here, especially on this stool, I can't really see myself. And also because of this unit, a lot of the light gets blocked out. So there's not a great deal of natural daylight to do your makeup in. Usually I have to use this mirror here and like awkwardly position myself. Um, so I'm facing straight against the window. So I think I do want to keep this desk in this room, but I'm gonna move it and I'm gonna kind of reposition it and try and find a better home. So, what has to be done first? Um, I need to clear out this entire room because I'm gonna be doing some painting in here. These units need to come out anyway, um, and I'm gonna need some space to actually start assembling these wardrobes. So, fun job for me right now. Um, not only getting everything out of here, but also finding a place for it to live over the next few days.
for a little mini egg snack break, but I'm done. Everything is out of here. It's actually echoey in here now. That's how much of a difference it's made. And I kind of forgot how big this room is. It's not big, but it's a lot bigger um, than it looked with all the furniture in. It's actually kind of awkwardly shaped. So we have this cupboard, like I said, in here, which um, I still have yet to go through. It's kind of just an odd, odds and ends cupboard. Um, and then there's this beam up here too. The lampshade, I'm gonna try and swap over because I don't love the color of this. Um, but I think that might be a job for another day because I'm gonna have to get it changed. And that is a job that I have not yet psyched myself up to do. I'm gonna need to call an electrician for that. And then down here, there's this old little alcove. It's very, very narrow. I'm not quite sure why that's there. Probably something to do with the way the building was built back in the day. And then there's a radiator here. Um, this actually is quite good because it does sit in the little alcove, so it shouldn't cause too much disruption when I actually put the wardrobes here. So they're gonna be kind of along this section of this wall and this wall. There's gonna be something going on here as well because it's quite a big expanse of wall just to leave that could be optimized for storage. And I'm also gonna do something with this little wall which is um, behind the door. There's not really a lot of space for a full length mirror in here, enough space that you can kind of step back and actually see everything you're wearing. Um, so I'm gonna try and do something with this wall and hopefully it'll all work out and there'll be some kind of mirror situation here. Even though the gap where the door opens, there's basically no space here at all. So color-wise for the walls, I was really toying with the idea of doing like a very sandy light neutral color. So similar to what I have going on in my office, which is more of like a pinky beige, um, but doing like a really yellow tone neutral sand shade. I really enjoyed using color, obviously in that room and then the hallway, which was the last room that I redecorated, which is like an olive green. I love that wall color so much. Sometimes I just find myself standing in that room staring at it. But I think um, once the wardrobes are in, which are all gonna be white, and just to keep this room kind of neutral and as big and airy feeling as possible because it's a little bit of a smaller space i'm just going to go with a bog standard white paint oh my god that's heavy um this one here is from Valspar. i did have a couple of questions about which white paint i use honestly for white paint i usually just buy whatever's cheapest on offer or in the largest quantity because i find you go through so much more of it so big tubs like this which don't cost anywhere near as much as like having a white color mixed um is usually what i tend to do and i feel like that's perfectly fine for me uh that's my paint in general i've come to really really like i painted the hallway with it and it was awesome so uh, i have high hopes for this <laughs> I decided to go for an Ikea wardrobe. I'd heard a lot about this pack system. Everybody seems to have one of these in their house. And um, one of the main reasons they're actually great is because they have this online planner. Um, this is the room I'm sitting in right now. You can put in the measurements of the room, the wall height, uh, you can change the colors and the flooring. And I think that's just the easiest way to know and to see what exactly is gonna fit and what's gonna work in here. So I <laughs> spent a pretty ridiculous amount of time playing around with this because they have so many options they have so many different um sizes of wardrobes you can customize everything so in here i've got some shelves i've got some drawers you can change these to basically anything you want and then i just literally ordered everything it told me to to get this so this is the room um i've left this space here because that is where my desk is gonna go it's gonna fit in there hopefully and then i have kind of just gone for like an l shape corner setup you can actually where is it click here and see what this looks like with clothes on so these are all for shoes we've got some shelves here which i'm maybe gonna put some bags on and then quite a lot of hanging space too so hopefully that is how it is all going to turn out so this is what 
all of that looks like. These have been sitting out in my hallway now for a, a little while I've been getting around to doing this. Of this wardrobe build I actually took a few days um, in between the last time I was in here just because building these wardrobes <laughs> took so much longer than I expected I think I spent a solid maybe like 20 hours in here bless you moon just putting together the world's hardest piece of flat back furniture I've ever encountered but I did it and it is here and it's completely transformed the room actually I can really see this all coming together now which is great this is how many instruction manuals I went through during this process. That is a whole bunch of paper. So let's have a quick catch up um, on what's changed in here and what I've done. So I think you saw me painting the walls last. All of those are a nice fresh white now, which looks so much better. I actually didn't realize that this wall um, here, which you can kind of see the most of, was a completely different color to the rest. That wall was gray, it turns out, um, but everything is all the same color now. It's nice and so much cleaner looking. I tried to clean up all the skirting boards as well. So really happy with that. Uh, I also did a little DIY in the end on this lampshade. I'm shocked at how simple and easy this was because I didn't think it would be possible to do, um, but I basically just unscrewed all the little bits uh, and spray painted them, trusty old matte black spray paint. Uh, I only did like one, one or two coats on here and it looks so, so good. It's completely transformed this light um, from something which I wasn't crazy about to kind of like quite a cool industrial looking um, lampshade now. So that is all I had to do, I didn't have to swap it out. I just had to paint it a different colour, so very, very pleased with how that has turned out. Um, and then down here, as you can see, are the wardrobes. These two here were not too difficult to put together because they're basically just two big blocks. Um, they're a bit tricky to manoeuvre, but that was about it. But these, this corner piece, and then all of these separate shelves. This is what took the time and I even roped Joe into building some of them for me, which I don't usually do so thank you Joe for that. Um, but here we have the wardrobe, they're looking so good and then I've just popped my desk back in here which fits perfectly. I was a little bit worried when everything was coming together that this was going to be too big but it fits so perfectly in that gap. So the main things in here are done that really, the big jobs are finished. There's just a couple of little extra bits um, that I want to do and then finishing touches and this room will be done. So I want to start off with this desk area. Obviously I already have a great amount of space here but the problem with this alcove that is now directly behind the desk is that I can't mount my mirror to the wall as easily. So we're going to improvise something here again. I have this huge shelf I've had this since we moved in and um, it's been pottering about the flat and has never really found a proper home because it's so large um, and bulky, but such an awesome shelf. I love the wood color on this. So this I think is gonna be the perfect thing to just slot in behind the desk. I've measured it and it should sit right between the windowsill and this cupboard here. And then I can prop my mirror up against this and also have some extra storage space, which is great. I can put some more bits and bobs on here too. So I had this old piece of wood um, that I cut the size and I mounted it up against the wardrobe here. And this should just give a little ledge for the end of the shelf to sit onto because I can't attach it to the wall because of this big space and gap here. Uh, so it should go onto that ledge, straight across, onto the windowsill and fit. Fingers crossed, perfectly. Okay, moment of truth.
Well, thank God for that. It fits perfectly. It's wedged between the window here and the shelf, and it's been supported by that little ledge. It is absolutely the perfect fit. I can't believe that's happened. It actually makes quite a cool, like, double layered desk, so I can do my work on here, do my makeup, and also, you know, I've got this extra little bit of space to play with here at the top. So I've also got this print here, this uh, print from H&M, which um, you guys would have seen in my haul that I did. You're gonna see a lot of that haul in this video because a lot of the stuff from that was destined to be in here. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And I mentioned I had this frame here that I wanted it to go in. This is just a simple black frame from Desenio that I've had this palm tree print in for ages. I'm gonna swap it out with this other one because I think it suits the room a bit more. So that is my next job, which is gonna be a very simple and easy one. I think this frame is in pretty good condition so I shouldn't have to do anything much else to it. The next job is maybe gonna be a little bit trickier to do, um, but this is what I have planned for a full length mirror in here. So there's not a lot of space behind this door, which is the spot that I'm hoping to get this up in. But I found these mirrored tiles from Ikea. They are basically, I'm guessing, just peel and stick tiles. Um, there's three in a packet here. Oh no, there's four, and they all come with little sticky bits. So, these are so light and thin, I mean, for four, this is pretty much nothing. So my plan with these is to kind of just stick them um, along this wall. There should be space to have all 12 of them here. Uh, and hopefully that should make for a pretty good full length mirror. So let's see what we can do with this. is to finally put together this H&M bench which has been sitting in my flat for the longest time. Um, this is the one piece of furniture that I was most excited about getting for this room and I finally get to build it which is very exciting. So let's go ahead and do that and then we can finally start getting uh, some clothes in here and finishing this whole room off. Okay, so three days, six splinters, and a hold off flat pack furniture later. I'm finally ready to show you this room. And I don't think this could have turned out any better. Um, I can't believe this is the same room. This is the room that had the gray cloud wallpaper, the tiny little space that I didn't know what to do with. And now it looks like this. So let's see what the final room looks like. I do one of these room makeovers I honestly don't think that it can get any better I think I've kind of 
outdone myself and that will always be my favorite room but now it's gone straight to the top of my list i just want to spend all my time in here so let's let's take a proper look around and i'll show you guys exactly what i've done in here so let's kind of start on this side of the room and go around so obviously the wardrobe units are the main feature of this um i'm so happy i just went for this corner unit i was thinking about wrapping it around the whole of this side as well um, but I think there's just the perfect amount of space here now I've left the rug in here that was already in this room which I think goes really well with everything and um, yeah so this is kind of broken up into this hanging space I've got a shorter hanging space and then a longer hanging space I haven't filled this all up yet. I think um, I'm gonna save that for a separate video because that could be something fun to do together. So I've just put in the kind of bare bones right now. So coats and dresses and longer things can go in there. We've got like blazers, jumpers, shirts, t-shirts for that. Um, I also decided to go for some drawers. So I've got three of these big, nice, deep drawers that I can put t-shirts in, things that I don't wanna hang. This is actually a really cool little feature too. I got one of these very skinny drawers which you can pull out and have these little trays set into. They do a lot of different kinds of these. I went for the ones that fit sunglasses, so there's two of those, and then the smaller ones I can put maybe jewelry in there. I've got a belt right now, but I thought that was such a good idea because it, it doesn't take up a lot of space. It's a really small drawer, but so handy for storing things like that. I can just pull this out and grab my sunglasses when I need them. So I've got some more shelf space here as well if I want to um, put anything there. Down here um, is gonna be a great little space as well. I've got this basket here right now with a scarf in. Maybe I'll put some other bigger bags and shoes and things. Um, this is quite cool as well. This is a pull-out rail for hanging trousers. I've got two pairs of jeans on here at the moment, but you basically just hook them over these and then that can be tucked away. This little shelf section I love already. I was kind of thinking about maybe folding up some jeans and things and putting that here, but I think this is going to be the perfect place to display all my bags. These shelves do go quite deep, so there's plenty of room um, if I want to stack them. I don't have that many handbags now actually. My collection's kind of gotten very small and concise and um, full of exactly what I love. So all of those should fit in really well here and I love the way these all look um, being displayed because they've kind of been tucked away for a while and I haven't seen them. So this is kind of the most functional of all the shelves. This is going to be my shoe storage. I've just popped a couple of pairs in here for now to see what it would look like but these shelves basically pull out. Instead of just doing normal shelves I just decided to go for these because you actually get two um, stacks so I could put this pair up here if I wanted and you get a lot more space that way because you can just fit in a lot more pairs. So I've got eight of these shelves in total and I've kind of spaced them out so I have room for boots and things at the bottom. Shoe storage is always my biggest um, problem and the hardest thing to get into a smaller space so I think these are going to be really really great. So then my new uh, vanity area, my new dressing table set up. I could not have pictured this turning out as well as it did. Um, I'm so so happy I decided to put this shelf here. I think it just adds like a nice pop of warmth um, and colour to an otherwise kind of quite plain, quite white room. I thought it would be a bit too black and white if I didn't have something like this in. Um, and it's just a great shelf. My mirror, I've decided to prop up, which works great. It's the right height for me now. Um, I think it looks kind of cool just propped like that too. And this whole alcove situation just isn't a problem now. Um, so I've got a few little bits and bobs on here. I've got this glass vase, which is from H&M, with some pampas in it. This is a H&M pot. Um, some perfumes. I might kind of change this around, you know, try out different things, but I like the way this looks at the moment. Um, this lamp is from Ikea. It gives off a really nice, cozy, warm light, so I think that's going to make this room even nicer in the evenings. Um, and then I've got my little H&M cane tray here, which I've just got some jewellery and bits on. I think that's going to be great for keeping things all together. So I've actually got some storage space under here if I wanted to fit some little boxes or pots and things like that 
and then obviously the whole desk. I decided to put this chair here instead of the bench, which I was planning on doing originally. Um, I think this chair just goes a lot better and it's a good height and it's got a back too. So if I'm sitting here for a while, it'll be comfortable. Um, this is just from Lara Du and I've got uh, a cushion here also from H&M. Lots of H&M loving here in this room. So really, really um, last minute, I decided to put up this curtain. Now this you might remember from my H&M video. This is actually a tablecloth uh, that I wanted to do some kind of DIYing with. I wanted a linen curtain but I wanted a really big plain one and I couldn't find one I liked so I thought this tablecloth would kind of do the job and I think it has really well. Um, it's quite sheer so it just diffuses the light in here when the sun really shines through. It's not shining at the moment but um, throughout the day it can get quite bright in here. And I love the way this looks. Linen is one of my favourite fabrics and materials so this just kind of like quite drapey at the bottom and then I've tied it up in a little uh, knot here too. I'm really happy with the way that turned out. I just went for one of my good old faithful um, Ikea black curtain rails. These are like a pound. So affordable um, and so easy to put up as well. So yeah, that's my little linen curtain. And then over here, because I know you're all dying to see how this turned out, this is the mirror wall. I have to say, it's a little bit like House of Mirrors. It's a little bit fun house crazy when you get into these joins because I don't think they're like perfectly um, put together but I kind of like it I think it's cool you, you get the general idea you can see what your outfit looks like and it has saved so much space putting this here it literally just slots behind the door and I even put on a little bit of felt onto this doorknob just so that when it gets to the mirror here it doesn't um smash it so it's got a nice like easy soft landing so i'm sure you guys will be seeing a few outfits of the day in this mirror and various bits and bobs like that uh, i think it really actually opens up the space quite well i definitely use these tiles again they were so easy to stick on um, and you could put these anywhere really and they just really make a small room like this feel a lot bigger so then the last bits in this room, we've gone full circle. I've just got the print um, that I reframed and the bench. I love this bench so much. I feel like this really pulls the whole room together. I just put it here for now. I might have to move out of the way when I pull all these drawers, maybe not too much, but it's always great to have somewhere to sit, to put shoes on um, when you're getting ready. And um, this whole wall I think is really cool now. This print turned out so well. Um, I was kind of debating whether or not to get this for this room because again I thought it would be too black and white, not enough colour, but um, I think it works so well. This room is basically turned into a black, white and neutral love fest and I am here for that. So that is my walk-in wardrobe and um, thank you for coming along again with me and one of these room makeovers. I honestly could not be happier with how it's turned out. So I'll try uh, and leave all the relevant information and links to things down below if I can fit them all in. Um, but that is it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll leave a playlist to all my other interiors videos and things like this if you want to go watch some more. So that is it for me today. Thank you all guys again so much um, for all your support over the last month and I will see you all soon. Bye!